activation on her left and right side. And for her primary driver for thoracic rotation is her third thoracic ring. Okay, so did your way to go and, and palpate the left viewer on the left side of the pelvic floor. And tell us what you're palpating. So 23rd aleocoxygeus. Ischium Yeah, which is the main one to palpate if you're interested in how pressure is going to change reactivity of the pelvic floor. Right? The urogenital diaphragm muscles will, but it's mainly through correcting the hip that you're going to get changes in the adductors, changes in the layer one. All right? If you're going for layer three changes, you've got to go palpate iliocoxygeus. And so the response for feeling iliocoxygeus was that she's not getting a very good recruitment response. And there's a little bit of tenderness. No, tenderness was on the right. Tenderness on the right, poor recruitment on the left. She has a third thoracic ring shift to the right and an eighth thoracic ring shift to the left. So Kiara goes in and corrects the third, third, third from the top, corrects the third ring, create, create a little bit of space, derotate that third ring, lift your bum, come on back down, and then Deidre assesses pelvic floor response. Not much change. The rings above the diaphragm do not have as big an impact on the pelvic floor unless they change what happens to rings 6 to 10. Because the diaphragm attaches to rings 6 to 10. And what didn't change with that third ring correction was her eighth ring. Now in vertical with rotation, correcting the third ring improved the eighth. But it didn't improve this in line. Different vectors of pull. Your liver's dragging back on it. Your organs are pulling differently. You're lying down. You're totally different. So now, Kara, go find that eighth ring. Is it right or left side eighth ring? Left. It's a left ring shift on the eighth. Mm -hmm. Rotated to the right. And so now she's going to correct the eighth ring. Lift it up. Push it back. Derotate. Lift your bum. Back down, and now Deidre goes and feels what happens in the pelvic floor. And it's a strong vector that's pulling on her eighth ring. Hey, Kira, can you feel that? But now Deidre says, okay, she's got a better recruitment response. She can recruit and relax a whole lot better. Okay? So even though the eighth ring isn't the driver, the third ring is the driver for her rotation task. If we fix the eighth thoracic ring, or the third thoracic ring, and it clears up eight, treating three will improve her pelvic floor. But in this lying position, correcting three didn't correct eight. You had to go for eight. Are you with me? Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So do you get the patient to correct their eighth then when you're doing that? And just no, no, we're not even into treatment yet. All I mean, about, this is this is all about convincing pelvic floor therapists they have to look north of the pelvic floor. That's what this whole thing is about. And how, and how do we look north of the pelvic floor? Mm -hmm. This is it. So the question is about what do we do about this? How do we do about this? Turn tomorrow. <laughs> we'll get into treatment tomorrow. We'll put the plan together for treatment tomorrow. Okay.